Hello, so we've got a beer today. I'm quite excited about this one. I've got a beer today from Holy Goat Brewing based in Dundee in Scotland, in case you weren't aware where Dundee was. <laughs> um, it is a barrel aged Flanders red with plums. Um, it's the fourth Holy Goat beer I've had. The other three I had were, have been absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, really excited about this beer, really excited about this brewery, to be honest with you, the stuff I've had for them so far. Uh, a cross between a Flanders Red and a British Stock Ale, brewed with a mixture of crystal, amber and rye malt. Pri primary fermentation was undertaken with one of our favourite Brettamyces blends, in addition to our house culture of yeast and bacteria. This beer was then blended 70-30 with two-year-old amber sour beer aged rye biscuit rye whiskey barrels we transferred this blended beer directly onto the lees and spent fruit 200 kilograms of red currant and black currants from our previous flanders red blood incantation i've had that one that's a that is a bloody good beer in addition to another 200 kilograms of whole victoria plums harvested at pitomot piton Pitom, pitomi fruit farm losing my words that seven miles from the brewery a portion of these plums were smoked at the brewery using oak staves from a red wine barrel. The resulting beer is a complex and vinous with a subtle smoke. Drink young or age, this will get weirder. I do like that, they say that on everyone. It's actually got 10 years of best before on it. I'm guessing this was must have been bottled on 26th of November 2021 because it's 26th of November 2031, the best before. So I keep, can keep these for a long time and age them. I'm going to drink this now. So, yeah, let's crack it open. I'm, like I said, really looking forward to this one. Sounds like there's a lot going on, doesn't there, from the description. Oh, it smells bloody good. Might need the Rennies for this one. Lovely dark, just get a bit more in. Don't want to go mad. So, yeah, lovely dark red colour. Look at it, beautiful looking beer in the glass with a sort of a slightly off white head. Let's get the smell. Oh, yeah. So I'm getting a sort of like red wine type smell, real red wine, but it's, oh, there's a real jammy fruitiness coming as well. Plums. Slight, you got a sort of slight Flanders red sort of balsamic-y smell as well. It smells very tart, very funky. Oh, so much going on in that smell. There's even like, a bit of smokiness, I'm guessing, because I said they'll smoke something on the description. There is a little bit of smokiness. There is so much. I just want to get into this now. Wow. Not to mention, this is 6.66%. This bit. You know. So, yeah, very specific uh, ABV. Did I mention what it was called? It's called Blood Eagle. Mm. I don't know if I even said its name. I think I was too busy, <laughs> um, too busy gushing over the brewery to actually talk about the, <laughs> the name of the beer and the ABV. But yeah, it's Blood Eagle, 6.66%. I think uh, Blood Eagle's a pretty um, vicious punishment. Um, I can't do it. All I can hear is noise and banging. But anyway, <laughs> ignore that. I'll come back to all sorts of destruction. But yeah, lost my train of thought now. But yeah, Blood Eagle's a pretty vicious, vicious, vicious punishment that I think that Vikings used to give out. If you've seen the TV show Vikings, you'll see what it was. 
pretty horrific. <laughs> or was that a spread eagle? No, I think it was a blood eagle. Oh yeah, the taste. Super funky, oaky, bretty. Lovely tartness, bit of bitterness. Really fruity. Tons coming from the plums. A bit of red wine. So it's a real barrel, you've got the real barrel aged taste. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. These sort of beers are something I'm trying to get more into this year, you know. Um, these sort of, uh, sort of like your sort of mixed fern sort of beers and, yeah. This is really nice. It's got a real sort of mouth coating body to it. Really sort of bubbly sort of mouthfeel. Oh, such a nice flavour though. Oh, so fruity. It is one to just sort of sip and just enjoy. And the great thing about this sort of style of beer is, you know, you drink them like Imperial Stouts. You know, you just sip, enjoy them. You know, you know, think about them and stuff, but Unlike Imperial Stouts, you know, the ABV, like this is 6.66%. You know, you can drink a few of these and not be absolutely on the floor. Although the acidity probably <laughs> might mean it's repeating on you a little bit, but... <laughs> but, uh... Oh, it's just absolutely phenomenal, to be honest. Yeah, it's... Let's rate this up. So yeah, you know, it's fourth beer now I've had from Holy Goat. You know, I've had the Blood Incantation, I've had the Imperial Stout, which is probably my beer of the year so far, which was Goblin Cleaver. And then there's one I actually had yesterday from, from recording. Um I can't remember what it was called. It was Citrus Citrus something Winter Harvest 2021 version Citrus. Citrus something. It was really nice anyway. It had blood orange in it. But yeah, they've all been absolutely banging. No, let's rate this up anyway. No, it's a brilliant, brilliant beer from Holy Goat. Really interesting. Oh, bloody hell. Um, really complex. Really nice flavours come coming through, real nice level of funkiness, real nice level of sourness. Really nice sort of mouthfeel. Probably give this. Oh really acidic as well. I'm gonna give this a 4.75 out of 5 if I'm honest. It's it's terrific. Absolutely terrific. Be it from Holy God, another banger from them. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been a review of Blood Eagle by Holy Goat Brewing. Please check out my other videos. Drop us your thoughts below, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell icon to be alerted of all future videos, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.